Hello, Sagittarius. <laughs> Long time no chat. How are you? Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? <laughs> it's good to see you, though. Um, this is a timeless reading. For the sign, for the energy, for the constellation of Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Maybe even south node. Um, it's not... Uh, maybe. Maybe south node. This could be something going on with someone close to you. Or maybe you're cross-watching. Either way, Sagittarius reading. Timeless reading. At the moment of this record, this is that this is being recorded. The date is January 14th, and the only significance I have there is Mars is officially direct at this point. This could have something to do with what we're talking about here. It could have something to do with what happened during Mars retrograde. It doesn't have to. You could be watching this far off in the future, and Mars retrograde is no longer relevant to you. But this could still be. So just take it as it resonates, guys. Yeah. Hmm. Sagimatazical. You know, I was connected to your energy before. Before. Further. I was connected to your energy further before. And um, right before I started recording here. And I just felt sadness for you. God wants to talk about this sadness that's going on with you, within you because it feels it's there. It's deep within the core of yourself. It's this deep core sadness that you've been able to overcome but you're not really overcoming it. You're just managing it. You're handling it. You're managing it. It's still there. Overcoming it means that it's no longer there to be a hindrance, to harm you. You're, you're, you're suffering. All the, underneath all the happiness, all, underneath all the giddiness, underneath all the happy-go-lucky, that's a facade to a certain extent, all right? To a certain extent, because obviously I'm not going to say, God's not going to say that there isn't s some legit happiness there. But you're not as happy as you could be. You're still hiding something. And I'm hearing there's may, there may even be some sort of shame involved with it. All of this is hindering your progress. And that's the only reason we're bringing it up to you. That's why we're here, to talk about these things in this way. This is hindering your progress. And we want to shed some light on it for you so that you can help, to, so that you can understand and to help heal. Help. The healing process. There we go. To help the healing process. One more shuffle for you, Sagittarius. Yeah. Um, I have this deck here from a reading that I did for Patreon. I didn't clear it or anything. Um, the answers you need are coming or at the bottom of it. It's the uh, Moonology deck. I'm, I'm not planning on using this deck for this reading for you, Sagittarius, but um, I also heard, I also wanted to just say Ophiuchus. So this could be somebody who's a Sag Ophiuchus cusper. Anyway, um, this, cro this, this caught my attention, so I just want to show it to you. Because the answers that you need are coming, and I do feel like it's through the process of this reading that we'll be getting you some answers. What do you want Sagittarius to know right now, God? What's going on? Ooh, the tower. Guilt, shame, and fear. Something is coming down. Something is changing. This is, I just talked about this in Patreon. Um, so some of you are on Patreon, and so you'll see that. Um, I'm wearing this same shirt. Uh, get on Patreon if you want to. As low as $3 a month. Anyway, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Anyway, the tower. Something is changing in your life. And there's either some regret towards it or some regret surrounding it. Regret for other people. How your life is changing for the better and theirs may not be. I'm also feeling here, Sagittarius, that for some of you, you are actively choosing to change your life for the better while you are consciously aware of the fact that some of the people around you are choosing not to. 
are consciously choosing not to. Some of them are still quite asleep, quite unaware, but some of them are aware enough to know that they are consciously choosing not to take advantage, take hold, take heed of this awareness. You know what I mean? But you are. And this may be causing disasters in your life right now, Sagittarius. Big changes, big upheavals. But ultimately what I'm feeling for you is either you know this or the message to you is that the conscious choice you are making that is ultimately creating these upheavals is leading you towards a better life. Is leading you towards greater progress. And there are some things you're going to have to leave behind and let go of in order to take up this opportunity, take advantage of this. And this is where the regret, the shame, the guilt, and maybe even the fear is coming from. Yeah, look at that. There's that Five of Cups right there with the Page of Swords. First of all, I'm hearing for some of you that you have people around you that are saying the audacity. Uh, or at least are giving off this energy or would say something like, you actually have the audacity to look at why you're unhappy, to figure out why you're unhappy. <laughs> Maybe you're saying this to yourself. Maybe you're getting a little catty with yourself. The audacity of me to actually investigate why this is making me upset. Why I am feeling unfulfilled here. Ha! Huh. Would you look at that? Next card you have, Sagittarius, is strength. And this came out face down. And it actually came out first. But it came out face down. Right after this strength card is the Five of Cups. That came out. And then the Page of Swords. You actually have the strength to figure out why it is you are unhappy. The gall. <laughs> I love it. The high priestess is at the bottom of the deck. So some of you are consciously choosing to trust your intuition now. Something may have happened, the tower, that got you to realize exactly what it is your intuition has been trying to tell you all along. And at this point, it's showing up as the tower because it's something that is unforgettable. Like there is no way you did not see and or experience that. Like at this point, you can't consciously explain it away anymore. It's there. It's real. It always has been. It's time for you to suck it up and deal with it. At least that's the energy that I'm feeling in you. Strength, right? It is what it is. Sorry about it. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Let's investigate this um, Five of Cups further because it is quite directly related to the tower here. Knight of Swords reversed. You are no longer fighting for this. Fighting to make this happen. Fighting to make this work. Fighting to keep this up. Fighting against the current. Swimming against the current. And this could very well be what the universe has been trying to tell you. The universe, this tower energy may have been a recurring theme for you because the current, the universal current, the energetic current, remember I was saying to you in the beginning of this, oh wait, no, I wasn't, was it? Was I saying this to you or was I saying this in the Patreon reading? I think I was the Patreon reading, but you are no longer an energetic match to whatever it is is going on over here, okay? And so the universe is ushering you towards it. That's right. This was the Patreon reading. And this is not good or bad. This is not right or wrong, Sag. Universally speaking, objectively, greater, higher mind speaking, honey, you're no longer a vibrational match to this. So you're being moved accordingly. You're being moved to that which you are a vibrational match to. So you swimming against the current, Knight of Swords reversed, was you resisting the universal change that is happening to you. And thus, you've been experiencing this tower, this recurring tower energy that has only heavily impacted the guilt, the shame, the fear, the, the, more and more. The more you resist this universal change, this natural flow, Spirit is saying, the more you resist this, the more the guilt, the shame, the regret gets just impacted and impacted and and just more and more solid until ultimately you've got to take a fucking chisel, an axe, a, 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 what is it? A, um, a jackhammer to it, right? Stop, stop this. There's a much easier way. 
and that's just going with the flow. And it seems that's what you're doing here so far. Knight of Swords reversed. Sagittarius. Three of Cups, the Hierophant. Yeah, you guys, come on. Oh my God. And then Death, come on, Saggy. Come on, Saggy. Four of Swords. See, the thing about this, Sag, is you know exactly. You know exactly what's going on here is what I want to say to you. You know exactly what's going on here. You see this clearly for yourself. That's why you're consciously able to look. That's why, that's why you're even able to say to yourself, whoa, what is making me upset here? Why am I unhappy here? Why am I unfulfilled? Because you are aware enough to recognize that you're unfulfilled. Or, well, yeah. And that, see, that's where this like universal energy of there's no right or wrong here comes in. Because what's good for the goose is not necessarily what's good for the gander. Or what's good for the gander is not necessarily what's good for the goose. It depends on the individual we are talking about here. Because even if that individual does not flow in this group, there is a group for it. Or there is an energy for it. Right? It's just about finding that. And what's come out here, clarifying the Five of Cups, Saggy. Knight of Swords reversed. The reason why you are no longer fighting for this. Three of Cups, the Hierophant, and Death. This just ain't your vibe, period. You're no longer a vibrational match to this. You no longer are part of this hive mind, if you want to call it, three of cups. You no longer vibe with this energy. And because you no longer vibe with this energy, universal law steps in and says, there must be a change to bring harmony into the situation. And if that harmony means you've floating your pretty little ass somewhere else, then float on, honey. <laughs> what are you resisting this for? Chill. Stop resisting. So, oh, four of swords, seven of wands, temperance. Stop resisting and have some hope. Have some faith. Some confidence in the universe. That you are loved. That you are heard. That you are cared for. You are accounted for. You have not been forgotten. Have some faith. And, and, and some of you, that might have just hit somebody the wrong way. Fuck you, I've had faith. Yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. That's not what I meant here. I, I, I didn't mean that, I didn't mean to insult you. I wasn't, I wasn't, mm. um, but that was the message. Trust. Everything is okay. Everything is accounted for. The more you extend this cup of faith, what I'm seeing in the Page of Cups is the more you extend this cup of faith to the universe saying, universe, I trust you. I know there is a bigger picture here that I cannot see. Not because I'm incapable, ultimately, but in this conscious focus, I am not capable of seeing that which you are capable of seeing. Thus, that means that I'm going to trust you because I know regardless of how epic and or destructive this may be and or seem at this moment, I know something greater can come of this ultimately. You know how to bring it to me. I have no idea and it's not for, for me to know. That's your job. So I'm going to trust you and I'm going to let you do your job, universe, because you put me here for a reason. So I'm going to let that play out and see what good can come of it. That's very important. That's very important, Saj. With this Page of Cups energy, being able to being being willing to see the good that can actually come of this is so very important, is vital here. And we want to stress being willing to see the good because that means that that will help open you up to the ways that you didn't even expect a positive outcome to result of whatever death, destruction, and or decay you are experiencing right now as a result of this energetic shift out of circumstances that no longer resonate with you. This is universal law, the Hierophant. This is neither good nor bad, nor bad, positive nor negative. This is, it is what it is. Okay, so have faith. That's, why, that's what we mean by that.
Trust the process. Okay. I love you, Sagittarius. That's what I've got for you. I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, if you like a personal reading, I'm available. Check the information in the description box below and check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divineconversations. I love you. See you later. Bye.